A challenge with uh, space debris uh, is that it's a fairly dynamic environment. Uh, things are moving at seven and a half kilometers a second. They're not always moving in the same direction. So sometimes they come at you, sometimes they come from the side. I was reading the latest report talking about uh, the International Space Station and how they're looking at potentially moving the International Space Station to avoid some debris that's up there. There's a piece of, a, of an Indian rocket and a derelict uh, Russian spacecraft uh, that are presenting an obstacle to the space station. So space station has some thrusting capability. Uh, usually there is a spacecraft dock to it that has thrusters on board. Uh, they typically boost space station to keep its orbit up. Uh, and then they'll move it uh, if they need to. Uh, we use ground-based radars to track those, uh, those various objects. The bigger the objects are, the easier to track. Um, however, it is still a challenge. One of the things that they're discussing is something called the Kessler syndrome. So at some point, you get enough objects on orbit that when they start to collide, they create additional debris, which then collide with additional spacecraft, which then create additional debris, and it grows and it grows and it grows. So that is a sort of catastrophic uh, a scenario uh, that could potentially be very real. If you've ever watched WALL-E, this rocket is taking off and you can see uh, the rocket punch through debris. So even our cartoons have captured some of those issues. So the community is aware of the problem. Uh, we're not quite sure how serious it is. We know that it will be serious in the future if it continues. And uh, it's a matter of priorities and funding uh, to actually solving this problem. But there are active efforts going in uh, to addressing that, that debris issue.